Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Aries. So if you're an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Aries, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, it apply. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. All right. Ace of Cups, hmm. Strength in Reverse, Star, could be dealing with a Leo, Aquarius, this person definitely, they know you are a very loving, caring kind of a person. It's almost like for some of you, this person sees you as someone who finds it very difficult like you are someone who has a big heart. You are someone who knows how to love. So you find it very difficult to not to love, love, not to give to someone, not to care about someone. Like no matter what, you will always care. That's the kind of, uh, I can't see that, can you? Yeah, no matter what, you will always care. That's how this person sees you. This is what I'm getting with the strength in reverse and the ace of cups. This person almost sees you as someone like love makes you weak. Love makes you behave uh, in a way that you wouldn't really behave. Love makes you do things. Like that's how this person sees you. Like you, when you are in love, you do things that you wouldn't usually do. You behave in a way you wouldn't usually. So it's, for example, if you're someone who has very strong boundaries, you are very independent, you have very strong boundaries. When you are in love, you behave completely differently. You let uh, you let the other person completely walk all over you or walk all over your boundaries. That is how this person sees you. Okay, what else? Hierophant could be dealing with the Taurus. Tower. Two major arcanas. Hmm. They see you as someone who's very stubborn as well. This person feels like you are a very stubborn person. Like you are, you are, like you are stubborn. You are very um, fixed in your ways. But at the same time, when you love someone, you can love them madly. Or you can just go above and beyond for them. That's how this person sees you. Like you are a completely different person when you don't care about someone, when you're not in love. And you are a completely different person when you... You care about someone or in love. For some of you, this person also feels like you hide your emotions. You are someone who hides how much you truly feel, how, how much you care. You hide it. You don't show your real emotions to people that easily. This person, for some of you, they are seeing you as like you have changed or you are changing. You are going through a transformation. You have gone through a transformation here. But for some of you, this person thought that because you are you are so loving and caring and whatnot, that's the reason why you will not break up with them or you will not be able to stay away from them for long. You will find one way or other to get back with them. You will just find a way to be with them, no matter what. I'm going to keep these... Seven of Swords came out. Look at that. It's like, this is what I'm getting the Seven of Swords. You don't hide anything. You don't waste your time hiding stuff or playing stupid games. You don't do all of that here.
Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Death, Scorpio. Just give me a minute. I need to adjust my microphone. Okay, that's better. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, mm, and of Death. To be dealing with the Scorpio. Page of Swords. This person is definitely watching you. They're definitely keeping an eye on you, watching you. Yeah. Th this person might, for some of you, this person is fearing. Remember how I said, like, you are going through a spiritual transformation. You are changing. You are evolving. That's how this person sees you. So for some of you, this person might feel like they were too slow and now you're gone. They were too slow to approach you. They were too slow to fix things between the both of you. And now you are gone. Now, you, now the situation is over. Now you're walking away or have already walked away from them. Because they were too slow to do anything. So this person might have thought that they had time. They had time to fix the situation. They had time to... I heard bring you back in their life. Okay, they, they thought that they had time, but... Really, this person is realizing that they don't didn't have much time to begin with or, you know, like the, for some of you, what I'm getting here is this person could have taken, in, taken you for granted or fumbled you. That's the reason why this person thought they had enough time to make sure they can fix things. It's almost like this person thought that, uh, as I said, this person sees you as someone like you are a completely different person where, you know, when you are in love, when you care for someone. You will do anything for that person. You will go above and beyond. So that's the reason why this person might have thought that they have enough time to come back around and fix the situation, to fix their ways. For some of you, definitely this person thought, because we did have a seven of swords, this person thought that they would have enough time to fix their ways here. To ask for your forgiveness, to compromise, to do things, whatever they want to do. It's like someone who had a lot of plans with the Knight of Pentacles. This person had a lot of plans or they were planning to fix things here, but it's like they took too long. They took too long. And now this person feels like you are done or you are gone. And no matter how hard they try, they cannot like, they might not be able to convince you to come back around because again, you are a different person when you're in love. You are a different person when you are not in love or uh, with that person when you have fallen out of love you're going to be a different person like it's like a, a very stark difference between the version of you that loves them and the version of you that has moved on or does not love them has fallen out of love this person could be fearing that as well i'm not saying you have fallen out of love but this person could be fearing that you have fallen out of love and it's just too late for them Dealing with the Taurus, Page of Wands, the Lovers, but that Gemini, you could have some. Um, I I meant to say you could have some Taurus placements in your chart for some of you. You have the Devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. Look at that Page of Wands and the Devil. That is not a good combination, but we do have the Lovers here. Page of Wands and the Devil is someone who is immature, someone who could have been a player, someone who did have other addictions. They were either, especially with this particular deck here, the Devil is in the Devil card. You can see people just randomly drinking, hooking up, whatever. That's sort of an energy here. So this person was up to something that, that was not really good here. That's the reason why they could have just taken this connection for granted or taken you for granted here until they completely lost you, until you just broke up with them. Because for some of you, this person really thought that you, since you see them as a wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups, since you care about them a lot, since you are someone who's very loving, uh, this person might have also felt like you are someone who's very forgiving in nature. That's who you are. That's how you are. So since you do see them as a wish fulfillment, since you love them, care about them a lot, you will not give up on them altogether. You will still hold space for them. You will still forgive them. 
like this person thought that you they will be able to um like no matter how what they are doing they will still be able to turn it around and have your forgiveness this is what this person thought so yeah For some of you, this person could be uh, could have uh, been tied to some someone karmic as well. You know, they felt a strong connection with you with the lovers, but they were tied to someone karmic. They ha they were in a karmic relationship, karmic connection. It's very possible with the hierophant here. This person sees you as someone who is very evolved or wise. And they were not someone who was that wise. So there was a maturity difference between the both of you here. This person was still going through that growth. I'm sorry about the dogs in the background. These are uh, street dogs and I can't do anything about them. They just play around and howl and bark at each other. And they are not in distress. So yeah. Yeah, this person definitely there was like, it's almost like you have already grown or like you had you were someone who's mature and wise and grown up whereas this person even if they are the same age as you this person was still going through that growth here they were still learning some karmic lessons this could have been a connection where you both were completely like on different chapters of your life it's not even like just different pages like different chapters of your life that's that's how it feels the energy is that and that's the reason why it's like even though you love this person so much they just didn't know how to handle it they just didn't know how to process all of that what to make out of it So this is simply this connection was strong, but this person was not strong enough to handle this connection. Could be dealing with a Capricorn for some of you or a Gemini. Six of Cups. Well, they miss you. Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck is Ten of Cups. Seven of Cups. Three of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Can't see that. Okay. So we have a lot of Cups here. Four Cups card. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Three of Cups. Three and Seven of Cups. Four of Cups in the mix. Six and Ten of Cups. Four of cups in the mix. A lot of four of, like, four of cups energy repeated twice. Although we don't have that card, that energy is repeated twice. This is someone who ignored because they thought a lot, they had time or they thought that, you know, like, I, I want to live in the moment. I want to live in the moment. I have these options or I, I, I don't know what I want. And whatever, it's like this person might have felt like you are pushing them or you are, demanding a relationship out of them you are demanding something out of them like it's almost like this person thought that you're going to keep loving them and they're going to keep doing whatever they do or whatever they are up to and that is not going to offend you that is not going to hurt you and they expected that you're going to keep loving them that's it you're going to keep loving them because you said you love them right so since you have said you love them you care about them you have showed that with your actions so you are going to keep loving them while they explore, they experience stuff, they grow, you know, like they go through their own growth and journey. This person thought that you were going to be just patient and see it through.
this person could be really with the seven of cups this is someone who's very confused not to mention this literally looks like a kid here So yes, they felt a lot of happiness with you. They felt a connection with you. Six of cups, ten of cups, a soulmate connection. But they ignored this connection. Now, it's very possible for some of you, there was a third party, there was other options. So whenever this person used to go party, have fun, indulge in, overindulge in things, overindulge in partying, alcohol, substance, other options, whatever they were doing. Knight of Swords, yeah. They used to overindulge in all of those things here. And the moment this person used to un be unhappy there, not feel fulfilled there, they would come back towards you. So it's very possible this person was trying to balance both of this as well. Like they wanted to keep having the lifestyle while they are still with you. This person is also very confused. They are very confused. They don't know if they, they miss you. They definitely think about you. They know what they, look at that eight and 10 of cups, two of cups in the mix. Now that you are gone from their life, now that you have distanced yourself completely from their life, now they miss you. Now they feel like they have these feelings for you. And they just don't know what to do with those feelings. So now their feelings are much more active. Their mind is working less. Their feelings are much more active. Their heart is much more active. And even though their heart is desiring you, this person feels like they are not sure whether they can have you back or they can have some sort of reunion with you. Because this person now could be feeling that you are ignoring them. Because you gave them enough time and they have not changed or they are doing the same thing. And it's like, how long do you stay around and just keep watching them do whatever they're doing? Because it is hurting you. And I don't, I'm not getting that energy of someone, this person understood that they are hurting you. But they have a lot of emotions for you. Look at that. Also, three and ten of cups, seven of cups. So, seven of cups energy repeated twice, four of cups energy repeated twice, six and three, three of cups energy repeated twice. This, so, the cards, this person has very strong desire for you, strong intentions of wanting to have what they had with you, not wanting to lose you, not wanting to lose the connection. But it's easier said than done. Yeah, four of wands, strength in reverse. Strength, we saw the strength in reverse earlier as well. Oh, look at that. Empress, ace of pentacles. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or a Leo, but gender doesn't matter. It's the same energy, Emperor, Empress, same energy here. Hmm. You don't feel strong in the, like you you feel like you're not strong enough to keep continuing with this person or whatever this person is doing for some of you this person you see this person as someone who brought in a lot of happiness there was a uh, there was a good connection here and this connection could have become something more than what it already was it could have been become more it could have headed in a good direction but with the strength in reverse, you see this person as someone who is not, they lack the strength. Remember how we had the devil? So this, you see this person as someone who has strength, sorry, who lacks strength. They are not a strong individual. They are not someone who can overcome the temptations. They are too invested in those temptations. They're too into, it's like uh, almost like this person has that very darker side to them. And the darker side, I mean, like someone who is overindulging in partying or whatever, like other options or something or, or the other they're up to. 
and this person just doesn't have the strength to be with one individual be with one person so for some of you you feel like this is a player and this player is never going to change no matter how much love you give them no matter how much you care for them no matter how much you are there for them so some of you might have thought that you can fix this person you might have not for everyone but you might have thought that you can fix this person but yeah you you could be seeing this person as someone like no i don't think i can fix them i don't think i can change them because they don't want to change themselves and you cannot force someone to change it's almost like you thought that you're going to be the exception here exception to the rule Yeah, see, Ten of Wands in reverse, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is, again, a very nurturing, caring energy. Uh, the same energy I got with that Ace of Cups is the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you care about this person. You nurtured this connection as long as you could. You did give it your all. But at the same time, you feel Strength in reverse and Ten of Wands in reverse. You see this person as someone who's very responsible. Queen of Pentacles... Yes, she's very nurturing and everything, but she's a very responsible person here. She knows about responsibility because she is mature enough. She has learned lessons. She, is, she actually behaves her age. That's the sort of thing. So that's a mature individual. And you see this person as someone who's immature and they can't take responsibility. They're someone like as soon as it gets uh, hard, this person will run, run away. That's how you see this person. Like, even if you have a commitment with this person, even if you are in a commitment with this person, you see this person as someone like, you will always, you cannot depend on them ever. They are not dependable. They are not responsible. So what do you do with that? So as much as you did care about this person, here you might be realizing that... Uh, nine of swords ten of ones. you might be realizing yeah this was a, it's almost like a painful discovery for, uh, for you here the truth was very painful yes the truth was very painful the truth that this person is irresponsible you cannot depend on them and even if you end up being in a relationship with them they might not be able to take care of you really you will be the one who's always taking care of them whether it's emotionally whether it's fin financially whether it's physically and you don't want that it's literally like you will have to baby what's the phrase mother this person yeah mother this person like treat them like a baby see those cards yes king of pentacles we saw the queen of pentacles and now the king of pentacles page of swords you both could be stalking each other for some of you both curious about each other you might be curious about this is what i'm getting you might be curious about whether this person misses you they think about you like that's what you're curious about is what I'm getting with the Page of Swords. With well, the King of Pentacles, you want someone who, with whom you can have stability. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, same energy. It's like gender doesn't matter, right? Same energy. You want someone who, with whom you can have stability. You want someone who is dependable and someone you can fall back upon if needed. You need a support system. You don't need someone who is going around still like, I need to figure myself out. I'm still enjoying this part of my life. I'm still enjoying, uh, I don't know, like drinking, partying, not being serious with my finances, not being serious with my life. You don't want someone like that. So as much as you, I do get the energy of some of you, you definitely miss this person. Yes, yeah, sun in reverse. 
strong Leo energy. Yeah, you feel like You know, even if you are happy right now with this person, if you are in a commitment relationship or if you get live under the same roof or get married to this person, you will not exactly be happy for long. That happiness is going to be very fleeting. Seven of Swords. No wonder the Seven of Swords came out before. Look at that. Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. And there's you. We did see the Empress and the Emperor. So there is potential here. It's not like there's no potential here. That's undeniable. The Emperor and the Empress. But here's the thing. You feel like this person is betraying you. You feel like you can't trust them. Even if you are with this person, even if you give this person a chance, for some of you, you might feel like you will always have to look out for, but is this person betraying me? Are they up to something? Are they going behind my back? You all, Maybe with uh, some of you, since we did have the Nine of Swords, um, it was very, like, you spent a lot of sleepless nights trying to think about what to do with this connection or what is this person up to? Because you might have caught this person lying. You might have got this person going, sneaking around, going behind their back. Sorry, going behind your back. It's very possible this person, you know, like you call this person up, just an example. And I, I got the specific example, so I'm going to say it. You call this person up and they say like, oh, I'm going to be at home tonight. And then you find out later by, I, I don't know how, but any means you find out later that this person was out with their friends or partying or whatever. So they're not giving you any reasons to trust them. So you have already caught them cheating. It's not cheating exactly. It could be since the word did come out of my mouth. There's no coincidence here. So this you have caught this person lying. And it has really, really hurt you. This person's betrayal has hurt you. So how do you trust this person again? So yeah. You feel like, for some of you, you really feel like this person is going to hurt you again. If you give them another chance, they're going to hurt you again. So that's the reason why you, you could be really just um, scared of being hurt by this person again. Did something turn? Page of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Hmm. You might have found something out about this person through a friend or someone like that. Emperor, that's you. Ten of Swords. Okay, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the moon. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands talks about communication. Could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, or another Aries. You know, even if this person, this person themselves, they don't know whether they can just be happy with one person. Just be happy with they themselves don't know it yet. They know they have feelings for you. They miss you. They see the possibility of being happy with you in the future. But Ace of C, there's a difference between Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups is mutual happiness. Ten of Pentacles actually talks about marriage and stability and everything. And that Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles. So this person, they themselves don't know if they can be committed to one person. They can be loyal to one person. Loyalty would be a big issue with this person here. They don't know if they will be ever just like, they are at least not ready right now to be just, to settle down with one person. They're not ready for it. 
and this person has to grow, go through their own growth and development spiritual development physically physically emotionally spiritually this person has a lot of evolving to do they have a lot of lessons to learn as well with the 10 of swords this person is going to learn some harsh lessons but it's like they will have to learn those stuff all by themselves you can't help them out there and if and that it's not that this person doesn't think about offering you something but even if this person offers you something they themselves don't know whether they can keep that promise so if this person comes back around and like hey i want to be with you i want to be in an exclusive relationship i want to take it to the next step whatever this person comes and say say that says that to you they themselves don't believe it they don't believe they can do it they don't believe they can keep that promise Okay. Ace of Swords. For some of you, you will receive communication from this person. Definitely. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. Ace of Swords to Ten of Pentacles. I was trying to look at the outcome in this connection. For some of you, yes. How, what did I say? Even if this person promises you something, offers you something, they don't believe they can keep it. This person, they will come back around and they will offer you something when they can, when they're ready for it. This person is not ready for it right now. You can't see that, can you? Change the setup a little bit, so yeah. Um... Yeah, so when this person will be able to offer you something stable, that's when this person will come back and tell you the truth, be give you the clarity. But before that, but that is going to take time. And before that, this even if this person tries to communicate or talk, it's going to be, don't expect this person to just keep their promises or try to, um, yeah. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Yeah, see, right now this person is not ready. Nine of Wands. They need to focus on themselves. They need to build themselves up. The Emperor is uh, the Divine Masculine. It takes a lot of um, work to step into the Divine Masculine energy. And right now this person is like, oh, I'm not sure. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Very similar energy. So let them do their growing up. Okay. Am I going to take that? No, I'm not going to take that. That was at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, see time. And this is in reverse here. Yeah, so it's it's not time yet. There's There's going to be waiting period here. I'm not saying you are waiting around for this person or you should wait around for this person. No, but there's going to be a waiting period, like pause. This pause is going to be there. Yes, yeah, see, repeated patterns, karmic lessons. This person has to learn their own lessons. And this person is still, they're learning some karmic lessons here. And you can't try to um, make it work. You, you shouldn't be trying to chase this person. This came out in reverse. You shouldn't be trying to chase this person. You shouldn't be trying to convince this person of something. They are not ready to be convinced about. No matter how much you're telling the, someone the truth, if they're not ready to hear it, they will not hear it. And that's the thing with this person. They're not ready for it. Yes, yeah, see, look at that. Many options, unconventional one-night stand string along. And yeah, look at that, the runner. We have chasing and the runner. So this this was a runner chaser dynamic for some of you. And yeah, this person did have options. And they, they are not yet ready to give up on those options. They know that they miss you. They think about you. They see happiness with you. But am I ready to give up those options right now? No, I don't think so. That's the energy with this person. You look at that karmic relationship. 
this person could be in another commitment for some of you they have their own battles here that they need to fight all right well that's your reading aries i hope you found some clarity through this reading i'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye